War is a good thing. 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 Destroy them. Why? War is a good thing. Destroy them. War is a good thing. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Corner. I've got some uh, hilarious war grifter owns for you, uh, including crowd favorite Ian Miles Chong getting absolutely demolished by Community Note, as well as uh, several other interesting people scurrying, hurrying, um, doing everything they can, tweeting nonstop, pumping out nonstop uh, Twitter spaces uh, to stand on uh, the bodies of those involved in everything going on right now over in the Mideast. And uh, it, 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 none of this brings me any joy. And every minute that passes, I hope that it ends. Um, but the news must go on. And so I, I try to bring a lighter side of it while mixing in some, you know, uh, some... Uh, news part of it and uh, I hope that I'll earn your subscription today I'll continue to cover this as well as all my other news um, we all know that I have long talked about Ian Miles Chong a Malaysian citizen who has never been to the United States who pretends to be from the United States and grifts the political right and uh, social climbs he's so effective at it that he's got Elon Musk constantly interacting with him and tweeting, retweeting him and essentially resurrecting his career. Uh, I must give credit where credit is due there, but this is a man that knows nothing of America, our values, our political system, our struggle, our culture, any of it, that he pretends to be American and uh, on Twitter and gets involved in our culture conversations because money This is a man that, uh, just a few years ago was a far leftist, called himself, and I quote, a turbo feminist. He tweeted out, he quote tweeted somebody saying, what do y'all think decolonization meant? Vibes, papers, essays, losers. To which he responded, they want us dead. They make no secret of it. It's time to wake up. Now, when he says us, he is implying um, that he is the us. Uh, the either Israelis or American, whatever the case is, this is what Ian does. And he got hit with perhaps one of the most brutal community notes I've ever seen, as it adds, Ian Miles Chong is, a, is Malaysian and has never been to the United States. Malaysia is not a Western nation. In fact, as somewhere between 63 and 75% Muslim, depending on the survey, he would be closer to the they than the us in this statement. Oops, this guy's been on overdrive. And then he completely melts down by saying, oh, community notes is being weaponized politically and there appears to be some manipulation that's happening behind the scenes to determine if the show notes are shown or hidden. Well, I mean, that's Ian Miles Chong. I'm sure he DM'd, uh, I'm sure he DM'd Elon Musk about it and was very, very, very upset. Uh, then you go on to one of my other favorite all-time grifters, and this is Mario Nafal. He is an individual who um, I believe, it's just my opinion, that there is a significant amount of data out there that proved he bought bots on Twitter. He bought those bots to shill his Twitter spaces um, to in, in, inflate the numbers because the high, no, no, more, more number of people shown in your space, the higher you show on the list, the more people you get, it's... It builds momentum in that way. There were several exposés of former employees or people that actually sold him the bot service, saying, claiming that he bought bots from them. Elon Musk presented with this data, but Elon Musk does not care. Um, of course, tweets out, important. A bombshell article by the Wall Street Journal, Journal claims Iran helped plan the, the attack and gave the green light. This could lead to major escalations of the current war. We're discussing it right. The article live in our major X Twitter space. Anyone who can invite journalists would be grateful. I mean, um, again, join our Twitter space. People are dying. I've got to, we've got to get more people in my Twitter space because it's going to stop the war. Again, I want to point out while, uh, 
I've seen horrible, horrible things on Twitter uh, this week. Um, you know, I, I'm not Palestinian. I'm not Israeli. I don't have any family there. I'm not going to pretend like a lot of people do on Twitter that they have some sort of deep inter- involvement in this, like Ian Miles Chong, for example. Okay, I worry about Americans. I know that Americans were lost. Uh, you know, I think nine so far that we know of. Uh, I su- I hope and support. You know, my prayers go out to their families, and I hope that there will be consequences for that. But I do not support war. Doesn't stop Mia Khalifa from putting out. Uh, if you look at the situation in Palestine and not the other side of the Palestinians, then you're on the wrong side of apartheid, and history will show that in time. This is a woman again, as I point out, that got famous dressing up in a hijab and having men be their owls on her face. Okay. Uh, this is a woman that, again, is standing up for uh, a side that probably wouldn't take too kindly to her. Hijab spicy video star Mia Khalifa reveals ISIS are threatening to take her head after sending her mocked up photos. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure why this individual uh, feels like, you know, that it's all okay to, you know, at the end of the day, she is using this, you know, to sell her fame, to, to get famous. And of course, people pointing that out, you know, rightfully criticizing her for saying, saying, OF star Mia celebrates uh, everything going on, urges Hamas to film horizontal on phones. In a separate post, she called for, a color photo of Hamas militants, uh, a Renaissance painting. She drew additional criticism after writing, can someone please tell the freedom fighters in Palestine to flip their phones and film horizontal? She also criticized Kylie Jenner for posting a sense deleted message in support of Israel. I mean, this woman would not exist in, in, uh, if it were up to these people. You know, I see since Saturday, Khalifa has reposted numerous posts to her 5 million followers. Uh, but, you know, again, the backlash has got her and delete, and she ended up deleting a lot of these posts. I mean, right now, Twitter is absolutely massive with bots. By the way, also Elon Musk chiming in. Shout out to War Monitor writing, uh, I would rather have lung cancer than see another post from this guy. And it's Ian Miles Chong. Elon, of course, replying, have you heard of the mute function? I mean, this guy, again, is grifted to 800,000 followers. If you call out his hilarious grift, he blocks you. Uh, he stays in his little, his little bubble. But uh, it's funny to me. You can see this. You know, X has become a hotbed of disinformation. Ian Miles Chong, who works for Ezra Levant's Rebel Media, used footage of Israeli PD falsely claiming that it was actually Hamas going house to house and getting families. Old videos of Palestinian children have been also shared. His entire Twitter account is sharing. You see him, he's getting community noted into oblivion, but it's not stopping. 8,000 likes, 500,000 impressions that he still gets paid for, even though there's a community note on this. Based on the uniforms, this is clearly a video of Israeli law enforcement, even though Ian Miles Chong said that is in fact Hamas going from house to house and ending the people inside, including women and children taking shelter in basements. Imagine if this was happening in your neighborhood or your family. So not only does he take a video that is clearly fake, he adds like this weird, you know, narrative. I mean, it's, it's actually sick. This video here. Or this tweet here, Israeli children kidnapped and kept in cages. This is, again, old video, 1.7 million views. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, even Avi, who Avi got hit, Israeli needs to go, oh, it's an original, it's not Avi's post. He got fooled by it. Um, you know, the, the idea that you have all these people all over Twitter who are right now going into overdrive, um, hoping for war, hoping for... You know, all this stuff you see, I miss this level of content from Ian before he decided to be a political expert. Of course, this one, why aren't there female characters in FIFA 14? I mean, uh, th- that's always, I assume that's probably, I assume that's probably uh, a fake title. 
But I mean, that's who the guy is. And there's so many people like him. Again, Mario too. Here's the problem though. All this grifting and reposting, you know, hilarious comment or hilariously out of, out of date or, you know, grifty videos doesn't matter. A guy like Ian Miles Chong gained 6,000 followers on Sunday doing this. He's, gain, he's going to gain another six or 7,000 followers today doing it. 2,700 on Friday, on Saturday. Twenty. I mean, war is great for people who post disinformation. Be careful with what you're quote tweeting and, and reacting to because a lot of this stuff is, uh, is wrong. And maybe people are just getting fooled by it. Maybe people are, uh, you know, you can see Mia getting crushed. Hamas is not Palestine's army. Okay, 2,000 getting ratioed. Again, this is a woman famous for taking loads, not for having complex political decisions or opinions. You know, I think that these, like, people who are, they're just grifting for, for uh, inf like, 1.2 million. Here's 21 million impressions. This is all about making money for a lot of these people, and it's sick. And it's super transparent, but uh, I suppose we can have some fun at their expense, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and you follow or subscribe down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.